Today is the first day of our FSA reading assessment. Today was the day two of our FSA ELA assessment. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is the first day of our FSA reading assessment and the students will be testing today and tomorrow and then on Friday we'll have a little Star Wars room transformation to review math and that'll go on a separate vlog all on its own so it's all about the Star Wars room transformation what are the materials that I bought which I showcased in a previous vlog I don't remember which one but in that vlog I'll go over all the materials that I got to set up the room and how I'm going to set it up and the activities that the students will also be doing I'm actually coming to you now during our lunch time taking a little break today is an early release day so the students will be going home at 1 50 currently is about 12 10 so for the rest of the day we're just gonna take it easy and relax they'll probably watch a movie and that'll help me catch up on some grading as well well I have been seeing this idea going around Instagram for a couple of weeks now and I'm like I really want to do this and I have my box that my Harry Potter books came in and right now it's empty because I put my books in the library of our classroom so I decided to put some things inside of the box that are mystery little some things for the students to enjoy once we are all done with FSA testing which will be next week Tuesday so this is the box that I put together here's the box and I created the sign that says do not open until all FSA testing is complete FSA stands for Florida Standards Assessment. So I put this same sign all around the box on all of the different visible sides of the box and I placed it in front of the classroom after we were done with the test today. Then out of curiosity, the students started guessing and I'm like, you know what, this is a good idea. So I gave them all a sticky and I say, put all your guesses on there as to what you think is in the box. And this is what they have come up with so far. And I started tallying up the things. And I kind of try to tell them, y'all need to figure out what could fit inside of the small box. It's kind of heavy, but not too, too heavy. And also it's enough for everyone to have. So what could it be? And I'm not gonna let you know what it is either until next week, Tuesday. So you're gonna have to stay tuned until next week's vlog to find out what was in the mystery box. But this is what they have guessed so far this is the powerpoint document that i created the sign in and then i created this table so they think it's merch which i really don't have merch right now and i don't know when i will have that they think it's books there's already 10 tallies on there they think it's toys candy back to school things pencil wands which are the handmade ones that i made this is one example this is just a Ticonderoga pencil, and I used a hot glue gun to create these designs, and I glued a little jewel on the top. I have a whole video on how I made these, so I'll link it down below. And if I remember, I'll insert a card up here somewhere. So one of the students thinks is that. Another one is cool logos with our names on paper, awards, mystery food, dork diaries, which also belongs in books, pencils, bookmarks, drawing stuff, anime books, which also belongs in books, writing FSA too, I thought that was hilarious. Gummy bears, Star Wars stuff for toys, luau stuff because we have an end of the year luau party to celebrate the end of the school year, and big pencils with googly eyes. So that's what they have guessed so far. Now when they come back from lunch, I'm going to have them tell me what things they really want. Like how many people want these different things that were guessed. And I'm just curious to see what they come up with. I'm just centering this so that when I write this, I can have it there. And then next week, we will find out the accuracy of their guesses who was correct, etc. So that was very neat. I just want to see how they feel about these different items now that we have all these guesses. I wanted to share that yesterday when I got home, I received my copy of Gary Brooks' brand new book, Go See the Principal, True Tales from the School Trenches. And I can't wait to read this. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting a copy. And I'll also link Gary Brooks' YouTube channel. He is hilarious. He is a school principal. And he is also inspiring as well. I had the opportunity to hear him speak when I went to the Teacher Hard Out conference back in October. So that was really great. 
Okay, I'm going to finish up my lunch and I will probably catch up with you after school. It's now the end of the day and I wanted to quickly show you what the students most wanted from that list of guesses that they made for the mystery box. It kind of gives me some ideas because I can still put things in the box before we open it next week Tuesday, but I'm not going to reveal yet what I choose to add to it until next week Tuesday. So again, stay tuned. So let's take a look at this. Here is the updated document, and this is the list of what they wanted. So we have a lot of students wanting merch, which is very hard to make happen right now. Books, which is great, but I can't really fit all of those books, 20 books, because I have 20 students in the box. But then we have the pencil ones that I mentioned before. I have, and I'm only looking at the ones that are 10 or more. I have, or bookmarks, that's nine, that's close to 10. I'll consider that. Bookmarks, I have drawing supplies, like they were talking about like mini sketchbooks or the little crayons that like they give out at restaurants or something like that, and gummy bears. So those are the top ones that they were asking for. The luau stuff, we have a luau coming at the end of the month and we have a Star Wars transformation happening on Friday. So they're still getting those, but this is really neat to see, and then we'll figure out what is in the box when it comes to it. Other than that, nothing much happened today since we were testing and then we were relaxing and we had lunch and it's early release. So I will leave you for now and I will see you tomorrow for day two of our state reading assessment. One last thing before we move on to tomorrow. Yes, I just put my hair down. Today is May 1st, which is my birthday month. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am going to do my 27 days of kindness, just like I did last year, which is to do random acts of kindness from May 1st today, all the way leading to my birthday, which is May 27, which this year it falls on Memorial Day. So every day I'm going to be performing a random act of kindness here and there, not necessarily at my school. It could be out in the community doing different things, but we'll see what I come up with. I'm already getting ready since it's the end of the day to go and do my first random act of kindness. But if you wanna find out more, either follow me on Instagram at Pencils and Magic Wands, where I will probably update, not daily, but maybe a couple of days in the week, or maybe I'll do a whole like, this is what I did this week, I'm not sure. But I'm also making a separate YouTube video on my 27 days of kindness, but that one won't be uploaded until probably May 28th or around that time. So it'll be after May 27th that I will upload it to show all the different things that I did every day from May 1st to May 27th. So stay tuned for that. And if you would like to join me in my 27 days of kindness, I would love that so much. And if you're in social media, go ahead and use the tag 27 days of kindness so that I can look it up and see what are the different random acts of kindness you're helping to spread around the world. All right, so now I'm definitely done. So let's get to Thursday. Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Today was the day two of our FSA ELA assessment and I am coming to you at the end of the day. The students were just recently dismissed. We had a good testing session. They really felt again that they did a good job and that it was pretty simple for them. So I'm hoping that that does translate in them doing a really good job score wise. So right now I am getting ready to finish setting up for for tomorrow's Star Wars transformation, which will be in a separate vlog. But just to give you a little preview of what is coming, because I haven't filmed this part yet, I started putting their desks, which were in rows, into two long tables of 10 desks, five on one side, five on the other. One side is gonna be the dark side of the force and the other side is gonna be the light side of the force. So I'm in the middle of finishing setting up this first side and then I'm going to move the other desk into position. So let me give you a little preview of what that looks like. As you can see, I just put 10 desks, so five on either side together. And again, I am using my black bulletin board paper that the school provides for us. So we have these big rolls in our teacher's production room, which is where we have our mailboxes and our copy machines and the giant paper cutter. We also have a couple of rolls of different color 
bulletin board paper. So that's exactly what I'm using to cover the tables. And over here are the last 10 desks, which I'm gonna set up on that side of the room. And then I'm going to add the final decoration touches for the tables. All the setup information and what the activities are gonna be and clips of the students performing the different activities are going to be in the Star Wars Classroom Transformation video, which will be separate from this one, which I am ending today. So basically after the students had their testing session and it was over, we ended up watching or continuing to watch because we started yesterday, the Trading Spaces episode where Megan from Too Cool for Middle School appeared. I have a little clip of the students seeing the reaction of their unveiling of their teacher's lounge. So here it is. Open your eyes! NC! Oh my god! 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 So after that, I then showed the students the little part of Mental Samurai where my friend Latonia Robinson from Smarty Style on YouTube, she's also a teacher tuber, where she is a contestant which aired earlier this week. And they actually enjoyed playing along with the contestants for Mental Samurai. It's a really fun show. If you haven't caught it yet, it's on Fox. And I have a Hulu account and that's where I was able to watch the rerun of that episode after that we went into brain games which i used to watch on netflix but then yesterday when we went to watch it because it was a special one that shows you how the colors that you see are not really there and how our brain perceives color which is really cool because netflix no longer has seasons one through four i actually went into my amazon prime account yesterday when i got home and purchased season three which has that episode and that's what we watched towards the end of the day. And then we watched another episode about following the leader, also in Brain Games, how people are susceptible to following what everyone else is doing because of influence. So that was really interesting as well. All right, so that's basically what we did in these two days of testing. Not much going on as far as instruction goes because the test is a big test and we just want them to relax for the rest of the day. So we're done with the reading test and next week will be our math test. So tomorrow, Star Wars Transformation is going to be all math focused. I have a couple things that I'm trying to finish up with that. So we'll see how it goes and what I end up doing. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on these two days of testing, I know. But if you did, for any reason, enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day. And don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.